down with none other than Chef Danielle Baloud. Considered one of America's leading culinary authorities, Chef Baloud discusses his latest cookbook, Miami's DB Bistro Modern, and, well, food porn. All right, Chef, cheers. Cheers. It's Thank such you, an honor to be uh, interviewing you today. I, I must admit I was a little nervous, but um, I'm sure you'll make it easy. No, I mean, you can get nervous if I take you to the kitchen. <laughs> but, <laughs> not here. <laughs> if, if we're sitting here with a glass of champagne, there's nothing to be nervous about. Well, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. I thought I'd do an icebreaker question yes. and ask you something that people don't know about you. Anything, something personal. I have guilty pleasure, like licorice, and I'm on the search for where is the best licorice. And actually, I found one lately, which I have in my bag, and uh, it might be the best licorice I've found so far. You mentioned that when you were 16, um, you were a culinary apprentice in France. Why, what do you think led to such success at such a young age? Uh, by the time I was 16, I knew that cooking was what I liked. It's not only cooking, but I was interested about wine. I was interested about what was going on in the front of the house. How do you see this restaurant, DB Bistro Modern, in the culinary landscape of Miami? Well, when we say culinary landscape, I think we stand very strong and we stand very proud. Uh, it's the home of the famous DB Burger. Yes. And, uh, but DB, it's about, uh, as a French, I love bistro. I love places you can go very often. And I think DB, it's about that. It's about great service. It's about great setting, but casual. And um, great food, but approachable, light, tasty. Uh, homey, soulful, uh, and French. You've talked about service, um, mm -hmm. and you service is everything for you, um, mm -hmm. especially in Danielle in New York. Very much. Do you think service is an endangered form nowadays? Service is a very important component in all our restaurants, and we spend a lot of time on training uh, people, making sure that they really there is a coordination, there is a, a, a seamless sort of efficiency right. within service. Um, the customer is not there to neither spend the evening or the day with the waiters, but you want to make sure that the presence is felt po exactly. uh, positively. The book, I want to talk about the book. Yes. This book, Danielle, My French Cuisine. This is a beautiful book. It's so sorry to be on the cover, but today is me, the serious guy, welcoming you here in the front <laughs> door. And then there is me, the less serious guy here, cooking at home. Oh, what do you so, make at home? I wanted well, to ask you that. you go to the book and look at the end of it. <laughs> uh, this book, it, it's about Danielle, the restaurant. Yes. We have beautiful picture mm -hmm. of recipe, but also wonderful recipe. So if you're a little overwhelmed by the length of it, okay. um, you can choose maybe the most important part of it and still make a wonderful dish out of it. But so, it's unlike anything you've ever done. I mean, there's Yeah, because I wanted to celebrate the 20 years anniversary of Danielle. Okay. And so some recipe very refreshing, mm -hmm. like a, a little Nantucket best scallop ceviche. Ceviche, people love that here. Definitely, Miami. And then toward the end, so there is also essay. Yes. Like this one is an essay on spice, there is one on cheese, one on wine. I call the book my French cuisine because um, I, wanted, I wanted to really cook French the way nobody has seen iconic recipe. And I invited Bill Buffer to come know, and cook with that. me. And it's very cool. So the whole part here, it's about old classic dishes. And so this is my interpretation of this sort of 250 year old recipe it's beautiful <laughs> and then at the end you have the home recipe which is the menu we're gonna serve you today were you back there earlier cooking for us I am uh, I've been cooking for three days in Miami okay. this is the food and wine festival I was uh, last night we were cooking at the Wolfsonian Museum with Tony Bourdain Eric Ripper Andrew Carmelini and uh, yeah. Francois Payard we were a good bunch of, yeah thoughts on those people that like to take pictures before everything that they That's do. That's awful, yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, I, I am the most guilty myself as well. Really? And, okay. um, so etiquette on phone is becoming a real issue. Sometimes I feel, God, I'm going to make a small booth right. where, <laughs> with booth. a little oh, bench, 
and I'm going to take them by the hand and say, let's go back there. I have a little booth, booth picture booth. So we can do everything there. You can do your food picture. You yeah, can do get your it little... all in one shot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, cheers. Thank you so much. Thank this you was so very much. This was so much fun. Well, I love Miami. <laughs>